Hi, beautiful. Sometimes when you color your hair, it gets a little damaged. And I think we've seen a lot of that over the years, especially in hairdresser reacts. So usually what happens when their hair is damaged is you need to cut it off. So we're gonna see just that today. We're gonna see a couple people cut off all of the damaged hair on their head, all of that colored hair. So they're back to their completely natural hair color, their natural texture, and it feels nice and healthy and smooth and soft and silky and sexy. That was good. They're probably gonna have to cut it pretty short. So hopefully it looks good. But first, today's video is sponsored by Native. You guys already know I love Native. I've used their deodorants for I think like two years now. What's also really exciting is they now have 100% plastic free packaging. This is made with 90% post-consumer recycled paper. And Native is a proud member of 1% for the planet. They are committing to donating 1% of their plastic free deodorant sales to environmental mental nonprofits. Each of these guys are aluminum free, paraben free, vegan, and cruelty free. Here in front of me, I have aloe and green tea. It's so fresh, but it also has that very like earthy plant smell. This one is the one I literally always use, eucalyptus and mint. This one just smells so fresh, but then it has that little kick of like sexy at the end, like, ooh. Gorgeous. And Native just released hair products. This is almond and shea butter, delicious. Also really good for your hair. Three plastic free deodorants would be $39, but if you use my link and code BRADMONDO3, you'll get them for $26. That's over 33% off. With my code, you can also get 20% off any body wash or toothpaste. Up first, we have CH527 Kerosene. I've seen her videos before and she never fails to shock me with these videos. So I'm sure today will be just as shocking. I'm going to be cutting all of the color off and I have a vision for what I want the end result to be, but I also have no expectations for myself. <laughs> I'm excited for this transformation. Her hair is a mad long and she's gonna have to cut it very short to get all that color off. The reason why I wanna cut all my hair off, uh, my hair is extremely damaged. So when I bleached my hair, something just didn't go right. There's a lot more breakage than I normally used to have. So you can kind of see it, but it's just like little strands that are basically just the brown. Yeah, we got some breakage. It's not that bad, but we definitely have it. And I cannot wait for her to chop it off. And it's all throughout my head that I can find these little ones that have just basically snapped off. And so that's a big reason why I wanna cut it super short is to just get rid of the super damaged shit that I don't want. Let's just start over. It feels so good when you have damaged hair to just cut it all off. Goodbye, we're starting fresh. I like where this is going. Oh, I love a girl in a shaved head. It looks dope. Okay, cool. That's done. Feeling a lot better. It had definitely been a while since I had shaved my sides. All right, so next I'm just going to wash my hair. I'm so glad that she wet her hair before cutting. Nobody ever does this, and it's the easiest thing to do to ensure that everything is being cut at the same length. When your hair is wet, it's heavier. It weighs down those waves and curls in your hair. It takes out all the texture. It's easier to cut, you know, wet hair strands than it is to cut dry hair strands. It's easier to keep it in sections when it's wet. It's just easier when it's wet. Okay, that was like the worst first cut I could have possibly done. Oh, she is making her way around the head and cutting. This is so satisfying to see all of that dead bleached hair hit the floor. I don't like this. Okay, I'm just gonna do that to the rest of the back and then check in after. Oh my God, there's so much length leaving her head. She was not kidding when she said she does not like long hair. She's like, I'm going to cut it all off. It's already starting to take shape. I like where this is going. I'm intrigued. Okay, so now that I have most of the length off the back, I think now I'll try to like actually cut it into something. Ooh. It's getting tough to watch. She's trying to give herself layers right now in the back of her head. Very difficult to do, wouldn't recommend. That was not a good cut, but hopefully we'll all come together somehow. Just turn your head to the side and look in the mirror though, and then cut. Like, you know, this is 
looking in the this, that, and did that becomes too confusing. I've tried it. Those are the biggest sections ever. Take a smaller section. So I think next up is just to try to get the length off of the top slash front. She has to cut all of that length off. I'm like excited to see it go, but I'm kind of sad in a weird way. I'm just gonna cut all of this off. Okay, but you know, kind of gets the job done. It definitely got the job done. I also have to say, I really like the black and the green together. Like I kind of wish she would keep a little bit of it. It's a good combination, especially when it's short like this. It looks really cool. Now what I'm gonna do, basically the same kind of technique that I did for the back, which is to just split it in half and go from there. She's like, uh, I'm just gonna fuck Figure it out somehow. I don't really know, but it'll just, it's gonna happen because there's no technique right now. <laughs> the technique was there. I like this. She's giving herself some layering. She's cutting at an angle. I think what I wanted to do, get my bangs to just kind of chill for a second, but then the rest need to get some of this green off. I can see the cut starting to take shape and it looks so good on her. Okay, I kind of just want to be done. It's just like too thick and too full. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think the back looks too awful besides the sides. Okay, I'm just gonna have to leave it like this. Um, I'm either going to buy a longer clipper attachment and just buzz it all, or I'm gonna go to a professional who can cut a pixie cut. So here's my little f weird ass mohawk for now. Ah, oh my god, that could have been so cute and I was expecting it to be so damn cute. What happened? You have way too much hair to just cut it off like that and leave it. Like you need to get texture in there. You need to thin that sh out get a lot of that hair out of there it could have been so good but it just didn't make the cut but you're still so beautiful and i know you've done so many things to your hair since then and it looks incredible <laughs> up next we have elise eckland i'm cutting off all of my hair today and i'm terrified i'm thinking maybe here that could be cute i have my trusty baby scissors get some real scissors also wow she's cutting a lot i know they're all supposed to cut a lot off but every time i'm like wow they're cutting a lot off Wow, this is so fun. Oh, hold on. Do you need to take a breather? Because I do. She's already got it in ponytails and she's already going for it. I always want to cry when this happens. That noise, it hurts me deep down inside. Oh, I, I missed a whole section. No. The bob on her is so cute. I also love the little bit of color on her ends. I love like tips on hair, like colored tips. <sighs> it is such a thing that more people need to do. Can we make that a trend? I'm not gonna lie. I struggled cutting through the hair, but I never give up. Except the times that I do give up, but this is not one of those times. Why is she cutting this side way longer than the other side? <laughs> Look how uneven this is. As you can see, I did a very good job and it is completely even. The back is probably worse. I'm gonna let y'all have the first peek. Oh, hell no, no. It is up, down, all around. It is, whoa, it is wild in there. And the color is very uneven too. Great job. I'm about to give y'all a boost of serotonin because the little baby ponytail is my favorite thing about short hair. It's freaking adorable. And this is probably how I'm gonna be wearing my hair for the next two months since I did a horrible job cutting it and I need it to grow out. Another good short hairstyle is the half up, half down. I am an expert at this one. See, you can't even tell that it's not even. So that's where she kind of leaves it. Sorry for the short video, but it was also really epic and crazy in like one minute. I think she looks so good with this cut, but like imagine it actually cut. Imagine if she gets layers in there. I feel like she would rock like a choppy bob with like a little curtain bang, like something really like rocker. I I feel like she could really pull that off. And then just coloring the tips of her hair pink like this and making it all even all around would look phenomenal. I hope that's what she did. Up next, we have Raven Alexis. I am cutting my hair. I'm cutting all this off. All of it. Okay, y'all, I just left Sally. I got the scissors. Yeah! 
says she bought professional haircutting scissors. That's what we need in here. And I'm glad we have it. It'll help her a lot. So here's a little link. It's not at my shoulder, just a little past it. But when I have my braids and it was like right at my armpit. Let me go ahead and start unraveling my hair. I wasn't expecting her hair to be so pretty. Why are we cutting it off? Like, I would like to see her hair just all dark again. But, like, it doesn't look that damaged. Like, this video is supposed to be about cutting off damaged hair. What the hell? What happened? Uh, I have a love-hate relationship with my hair in the back. Not because it's kinkier, but it's so dry. Like, it is so dry. It gives me so many problems if I'm going swimming or anything. Like, and it's so dry. And I just want to cut it all off and start over. She said her hair is so, so dry. She was also talking talking about how she wants to cut it off so she can just have her natural hair and let it all grow out healthy again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, she went really, really short. Shorter than I thought she was gonna go. Is that too short? That's short as f Raven. It's really, really short. I hope that she can make this work and look right. She might just need to shave it off. Like, I feel like there's that time where it's like just too in between, like grown out and short. You don't want that grown out hair look. I'm dying. That is so much hair. That's kind of too long, isn't it? Too long? You just cut it all off. Hold on, that's kind of fire. She is like so just doing it. Most people like, you know, have a little mental breakdown at this point, but she's just going through it, doing it all, and like really not giving a fuck which I love. Like, she is by no means attached to her hair, clearly. Like, wow. I would be scared to do that to myself. I'm sorry, I just can't get over how much hair she's cutting off. This is wild. I'm bald. Yeah, you just made yourself bald. This is gonna be the most random haircut if she ever decides to blow it out straight. Like, it's gonna be like one, like up here, down here, up here, like just crazy because there's no technique. It's just like cut, cut, done. This is so cute. I love it. I just took this comb, whatever hair was piece, and I'll just cut it. I did some swoops in the front. I can't do much with it because it's not even an inch. Hey y'all. Okay, this is not the next day. This is like two weeks later. I'm so sorry. I'm loving my hair. It's very, very cute. I got the back faded. It transitions a little bit more smoother, but I'm loving my hair. It's very cute. She is so cute. Oh my God. She has like a little doll face with that shaved head. Like, oh, she's so adorable. I love it. I want to see her with like full on makeup, full on glam, like an eyeshadow moment or like a lip. Like, I don't know. This haircut you can do some edgy shit with. Like, I love. Well, those were dramatic changes that I was not expecting. Like, I thought they were gonna have a little bit of damaged hair like this long and just like trim it off. And no, they went crazy with it. Got rid of more than like six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 inches of hair, which is dramatic and a lot. I just love the transformations. You guys know I love a good transformation and these were good. Definitely could have been done a little bit better, but that's okay. They still look great. If you guys like to check out me anywhere else, here are all my social media handles. Also, Xmondo Hair and Xmondo Color. Get hair inspiration from there. And you can shop my hair color and my hair care line with the link down below. We have hair glosses, blow creams, oils, shampoos, everything to make your hair look and feel incredible. All the products are created and formulated by me and the rest of my team. If you'd like to check out more videos of me, there they are for you. Go for it. It'll be a good time. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.